So Leah, I'm obviously in the middle of a busy run of games at the minute uh, with Hibs coming up this weekend. Um, but let's talk about Wednesday's game first of all. Obviously, you're glad to walk away with the three points, but Motherwell definitely made it hard for you. What was your sort of take on the game? Yeah, um, to me, you know, it was a tough one. Um, I actually missed out on the game on Wednesday night just because I had some unique commitments that I kind of got in the way. So that was a nightmare having to miss the match. But I kept across it and, and was able to follow it as, as best I could and certainly being part of the, the debrief with the girls um, on Thursday night. You know, got a better feel for kind of how the match felt to them and kind of the things that you can always improve on and you know certainly I think over the course of the season there's there's always a couple of games that are not so much a sticking point but for whatever reason or you know another you don't perform as well as you, you possibly can and you know as much as you need to give credit to the opponents for the way they go about their game plan and the way they're able to execute that I think you know as Glasgow City players we always come away thinking what we can do better um, and I think for us it was, you know, the important fact was the three points which we've got. Um, there's a couple of moments that we can dissect and reflect on and improve on. Um, but ultimately, it was about the three points and we move forward and we take anything that we can from that game, you know, into the next one, which is Sunday. Uh, yeah, definitely. So it's obviously a quick turnaround heading into the Hibs game. Um, you said you had a quick debrief on Thursday. What was sort of said during that debrief to get you focused for Sunday's game? just ultimately what we can do better and, and what we can improve on you know speaking to the, the players as a group when we were there and, and certainly just picking up with a couple of individuals that you know took part in the game and, and how that felt I think there's always room for improvement there but ultimately it, it's not a disaster to go and concede goals um, is never ideal you know especially when you're a, a Glasgow City player but as I say you need to give credit to the opposition and, and that's what we'll do and we respect Motherwell and their performance on Wednesday night um, but we need to take that and, and move forward. So the girls are, you know, there's a good feel about the club just now. We know um, we're in a good place. You know, we can always, you know, improve in little things day to day. But this is a run in and this is a crucial point of the season. And, and everybody has found a real focus, I think, in their performances, whether, you know, you've started in games or you've come off the bench. Um, even the players, you know, that have been injured and have perhaps missed out over the last number of weeks. So there's a real collective unit that we've got and um, we're really excited for Sunday. So just looking ahead to Sunday there, it's, you know, it's always a tough game against Hibs and it was quite a tight game earlier in the year. Um, and obviously you're in the middle of quite a busy get, uh, run of games, as you said, and you said there's quite a good feeling amongst the team, but what's, what's the feeling heading into this fixture after, you know, quite a busy run? For me, I think personally, um, this is the best part of the season. You know, when the games come thick and fast, that's exactly what you want to be part of. Um, any player that, that kids and, and says that they enjoy training uh, and you know and love to do that, um, they're probably telling a lie because the best thing that you want to do as a footballer is play games, to focus on a match day, to recover uh, and to focus on the next game. You know is the best thing about football. And I've always felt as a Glasgow City player, when it gets to this stage of the season, this is where we we kind of come into our own and. We've been over the course the, the course a number of times before and, and we know what it takes. Um, there's a, a fairly new group this year, so that, that's been probably the adjustment in terms of bedding down that information and, and keeping that same feel. But what we've got is a competitive squad and I think everybody, you know, in the last couple of days is eager to to get, you know, a jersey for that starting eleven on Sunday. You want to go, you want to perform well, you want to give us, you know, a better chance to to go on and you know, retain the title and, and that's kind of where the focus is at but each game is the focus you have to take care of them individually um we don't look too far ahead and you know our main focus just now is Sunday. So Sunday obviously we'll finally be able to welcome some fans back to the stands um what's it been like for you to play almost a full season without anyone there to watch? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's tough, you know, I've been out at a lot of games and, you know, I'm lucky in the sense that it's part of my job as well. So I've, I've been at loads of stadiums and it, it never quite feels the same. Um, for the most part, you can probably cope with it, but certainly when it comes to big games and, you know, probably the one that I, I kind of thought about the most this season was when we played Rangers just a couple of weeks ago and, and to think the amount of fans that would have probably been at that game and would have wanted to turn up and support both sides and, and that's no discredit to, to other teams in the league because I just feel when it comes down to the, the top two teams that's 
the kind of one that everybody focuses on and it was a head-to-head -head match for us. So, um, you know, disappointing to miss out and not having fans at games like that, but it'll be incredible to have any level of support back in at the ground, you know, whether that's just friends and family. For me as a female player, that's what I've been used to throughout my career. It's, it's never been a, a huge fan base, you know, of course at Glasgow City we've, we've managed to build that over the last number of years, but we're excited to have a bit of noise and it'll be nice to probably not hear my own voice at certain moments in the game when you hear it back. Yeah, echoing off the stands. Um, <laughs> so for those fans, you know, that are going to be there on Sunday and even the ones who are going to still be watching at home, do you have a message for them? I think everybody just needs to enjoy the moment. You know, it's going to be incredible to, to see a few familiar faces there and hopefully as many people can get there as, as they possibly can allow. And, you know, I just think if this year's taught us anything, it's to kind of live in the moment and never take anything for granted. I know me as a, a player and as a person, you know, I've had a lot of time to reflect over that in, in the last probably 14 months. So, no, it's going to be a really nice feeling. But when you say that, it's two rivalries coming head to head. We're going up against which probably being our oldest rival in the women's game. So I don't think there'll be, there'll be too many friendly chants. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, thanks so much, Leanne, and good luck on Sunday. Thank you. Cheers.